Welcome to Kessler Canyon, y'all. Today we're going to learn how to break down a uh, and clean a tenderloin, a full tenderloin. This is a tenderloin right here. This comes from the inside of the rib cage on an animal. They all look very similar. First thing we want to do is get down to our get our chain off and all this extra. And this can be done with the hands. You just get your hands in there and you uh, start moving it along here. Put your fingers in between the pieces. Then you take your boning knife, very sharp, so watch yourself, and start cutting little pieces of fat off. Save all these little pieces right here. And then you get down here to the next to the chain. The chain, you just run your finger down the side, and you have this beautiful, and then it comes apart. And that gives you a guideline where to run your knife. Just right in, just like this. And you take it all the way down the back side, just like that. We'll hold on to that chain because we're going to clean that up. There's a lot of good meat on that chain for burgers and stews and whatnot. So we got the top cleared off. A lot of that just pulls off by hand. Now we're going to turn it over. This is where it attaches to the rib cage in the back. And uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to run our knife along the back, nice and mellow. We can leave a little bit of that fat on there. That's good viscous fat, good hard fat. That's the good fat. That's the fat that cooks down and makes the steak real juicy. So it doesn't have to be perfectly clean on the back side. Just get enough so that you can. Right under here, right under this little pit here is another chunk. Take that off and just generally clean it just like that. Running that knife along the side, saving all those pieces. On the back side here is a little piece of silver skin. Silver skin is this really tough sinew that is located on meats. We want to get that off because that's really unpalatable in the uh, in the mouth when we when you're chewing it. Then we turn it over and we want to take this silver skin off. Here, come on in here. I'll show you something. Your meat runs this way, the grain. So what we want to do is we want to come up the back side a little bit, get right under that silver skin, take a little bit that way, and then we want to move our knife. Lean it up towards the silver skin a little bit and pushing it this way. So we run along the grain. Beautiful. And then we get a little bit more right in here. Cut just like that. Pull that silver skin off. Get a little bit right here. Pull this silver skin off. And any other little pieces you see. Just like that. Then we have a a clean tenderloin, just like this. Now we're going to cut it into steaks. The tip we take off, and we slice that into little chunks. And we see it, save that for stew meat or beautiful filet mignon burgers. And then we start cutting. I'd say about a five ounce portion is plenty nowadays for people. Because people are watching their weight. Not me, but some people. And uh, we cut this into little steaks, just like this. Beautiful, wonderful, and we line these all up nice and smart in a pan because no matter what you're doing you always want that prep area to look very nice because you never know when the President of the United States can walk in the kitchen. When we get down to the end here where this knuckle meets the blade, we separate the two right in half, we continue our steak cutting on the tenderloin. Placing those back in there. And then we take our knuckle and we take the tip off our knuckle. And we take a steak out of that. We have a beautiful, nice steak right there. And then we trim the end off that. And then you get into your chain meat. Chain meat has two parts to it, the, the front and the back. And you cut it right down the middle. There's a lot of great meat right in here. As you can see, as I'm rolling this right out, just rolling that meat right out, using my fingers to help separate as it's coming off. And we get it just done like this, and we chunk this up. That's good stew meat as well. That goes into the stew pile. This goes into the chain pile. Oh, did a little chunk right in there. I can see that. We just get that right out, just like that. Mmm, delicious. And all this, all this silver skin and fat can be roasted 
And then if you ever make a demi glaze or a beef stock but from bones, you just roast this off and throw it in with your bones and simmer it for a while. And it'll add it to a lot of great flavor for your, um, your beef stock. And then we got this one last little tip right in here. Get that right off. Chop that up. This. And there. That's how you clean a tenderloin from, from prime to steak, stew meat, and your scrap for stocks. Thank you. Come on back, Kessler Canyon, anytime.